Ciao internet accent here and I'm back again and this is a, an, uh, an episode recorded at night so I'm gonna be a little bit a little bit quieter than usual still I wanted to record this video right now because uh, Star Citizen um, convention is happening uh, Citizen Con is called and they released a new video a very interesting video called future of gaming so it's a presentation it's a demo uh, of their new newly renamed i guess because it wasn't called like that um, game engine uh, they called it the star engine and what i'm guessing is that they were going to show what i already tried in the game um which is this a super complex engine that can handle like the entire space at every scale without loading screen and stuff like that. I think this is a new version of the engine that will be included in the alpha in the coming uh, versions of the alpha of the game. So I'm really eager to see this, to watch what's capable, capable of and hopefully know when it's coming uh, in the game actually so I can put my hands on on it uh, so without further ado let's go and watch the video I'm sorry about my like whispering tone but I, I don't want to wake up my family so let's give it a watch uh, so all right from the start everything you're about to see has been captured in engine as one continuous shot without loading screen there you go. I, I, th I thought as much. Distance between planets has been compressed for the sake of brevity. So yeah, so they just shrunk the space between uh, astral object in order to fit it into the video, uh, which is a long video, 24 minutes. So even though they shrunk it, it's still big as fuck. <laughs> really, 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 really curious. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we got opera, which is fitting with the space opera theme of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I love the music. I've always loved the music of this game. I think it's such great music. So, oh, they're showing how fast are you actually going? And how much distance are you covering? Okay, solar system size game spaces. So act like one to one. <laughs> Just fucking crazy. Six, six 64 bit large work card guys yeah do you know what it means 64 bit coordinates how many numbers are there jesus all right okay so it's slowing down because he's uh coming up to a planet Microtech, so I've, I've, I've been there, actually, in the game. In a Stanton system, which is basically the system that you are allowed to explore right now. Fully explorable plans, yeah, I know that. So this is the thing that Star Citizen does. That no other space sim game does properly. Is this shit. Seamless transition from space to ground. So it could seem like something that's not that important. So new Babbage, I I've been here. You can fly, you can fly uh, whenever you want here, and you can see. Look at this. Jesus. 
when you are inside of the buildings, you can see other players like flying around the city. And they're actually there. That's the fucking crazy thing about this thing. You know, even though the graphics are not that advanced now, because, you know, the game is old, it's still extremely impressive. Nobody does this. Yeah, 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 real-time transportation. Uh, I've, I've shown that in a, in a stream. This music, man, it gets, it gets me. It gives me the feels. All right. I've been to the station, that station, that very station. And I've seen players to take off from that in real time. Okay, now we're, we're moving out of uh, Microtech. Okay, spaceships? Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't know what this spaceship is, but it looks great. Fully interactable and explorable multi-crew spa spaceships, yes. Yeah, that's, that's the name of the game, basically. And look at this. Also, this transition. No loading screens. This is in-engine. I want this game to be real so freaking bad, man. Okay, now, now we're getting to the like the, the planet creation actually, uh, real time biome. Hey girl, of course, if you have to build something of this kind of scale, you have to have some kind of procedural generated stuff. So you can see some like uh, changing of LODs and uh, shadow and texture popping. That's it's just. I mean, you can forgive it for that. So you can. Oh. So I never. I actually never visited the subterranean location before in the game. And I didn't even know they existed, actually. There's so many layers of exploration in this freaking game. It's crazy. I. I maybe. Maybe it's a good thing that this game isn't real yet for my, like, social life and stuff. This is crazy. Ground fog fully integrated into the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is actually, like, it's physics-based because it, it has to be, like, more or less dense depending on the planet, so, like, also, I think, uh, your flight, like, the, the behavior of your ship should change based on the atmosphere composition and stuff like that. Sunlight shafts through the atmosphere. Okay, so these are graphics features, which are not uh, anything special per se, but, like, in the context of this scale, still mag magnificent. <laughs> this music, man. Ah. This is basically my dream game. This is, this is basically my dream game. Dance environmental procedural generation based on rule sets, alright? Yeah. Of course, you need that to make these sorts of game. So, hear me out. If they don't manage to make this game, like to finish it and release it like, like a proper game, right? If they don't manage to do that, just take this fucking engine, the star engine, and sell it and license it to other studios, please. Let other studios do stuff with this engine. 
yeah, I know graphics are outdated. And maybe like uh, some kind of gamers wouldn't like appreciate what they lose in graphics fidelity compared to what they gain like in f design freedom. Dynamic planetary winds. <laughs> Come on, man. Who cares about like fidelity when you can simulate this much? This is just crazy. As a dev, I don't know what you would want more than this. Dynamic ecosystem generation, flora and fa fauna. So even animals are like procedurally generated and. Still no cuts in the editing, it's still no freaking loading screens. I don't know, man. I know everybody's pissed uh, with, with, with this game because they like it's taking too long and people are spending money on it and, and what you can play is kind of a just of a vertical slice of the idea of this game still that vertical slice, slice just works like this i tried it it works like this when it works but it doesn't when it doesn't crash <sighs> look at this yeah looks good man it is updated but it still looks great the, the sheer scale of it would make it looks great yeah, again, they, they, they reiterated the idea of seamless transition from ground to space, which is the best feeling ever. All right. What? This is new. Uh, this effect is new. When you warp drive right now, it's not like this. Much, much better effect. Much better effect. Okay, I've been, I've been to Yela also. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this, this is something that I actually like experienced. You, you you go in, onto a planet with with rings, and you get into the rings, and you actually see the asteroids like composing the rings. That's a base right there, and it's persistent in the in the universe. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this is amazing. I really want this game to be a real thing. Sooner or later. I wonder how you can just, I don't know, even how you can like make a review of a game like this if it actually del delivers on the promise. Real time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also that I've noticed that if you are uh, on the wrong side of the planet, you don't sh you don't see shit basically. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Yes, this is a gas giant, so all the buildings and stuff are just flying around. Floating cloud city of Crusader. Been here also. Very cool looking city. Yeah, when you go down in the like in uh, at human scale you can actually see how um the engine is a little bit outdated like fidelity wise uh still looks great in my opinion looks good enough for what it's supposed to do more than enough The things that need to look great, they, they, they look great, like the clouds and the stars and... Holy sh 
shit, man. I'm gonna cry. Also, say you say what you want about this game, but the, 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 sh the like the ship design is it's fantastic. What? The? These are basically the the flying whales from from Star Wars, basically. They are they are exactly the same. All right. It's still going. We'll. This is half of the video. I wonder if they're showing something that I've never seen in the game yet. Maybe they are. Maybe some surprise, like aliens or stuff. Okay, another warp drive. Or whatever it's called in this game. I don't remember actually. Every game calls the like hyper light uh, travel in a different way. Holy hell! Space escaping. What the hell? That is that? Oh man! Is this a nebula or something? I kind of want to get into it. I kind of want to get inside the video. All right, this is the only game that I would try to play in VR. The only type of game that I would like to try in VR. I tried uh, Elite Dangerous in VR, which was very, very cool. But that game is not uh, immersive enough to make it work for me. What the hell is this? This, this stuff is warping my mind. Pyro system. Sir. To hell. Fully plus space station screen. Alright. Streaming on demand. What the hell does that mean? I've seen this place before, but I've never been there myself. I remember seeing it in some like other Star Citizen streams. Uh, I've seen people like get side quests or just quests, because there, there is no main quest here. They're basically all side quests. All right. Melanin driven skin shader, blemish freckles, touches level. Well, 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 this stuff is not impressive at all. Uh, but it is impressive uh, still in the context of this freaking huge ass scale engine. Because if you, even if those details are not like uh, on par with other like very focused engines, it's still impressive, impressive the way they are inside of a game engine that is focused on freaking huge scale so we are 16 minutes in still no cuts in the editing and no loading screens This is mind-boggling. This is freaking mind-boggling. Oh, 
Oh fuck. So we tr we already traveled in this demo for what's that? 1000 billion kilometers. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, Pyro 3. Uh I remember this place being on the map. I don't actually remember if I've been there or not. I don't want to say like things that I don't actually know. Sun shaft occlusion, planetary scale. Yes, yes, you can see the shadows from uh, the top of the atmosphere, like like casting onto the planet's surface. Jesus, how crazy is that? Another big ship. Is this the? Like scavenging ship. Uh, yeah, this is like the. What the fuck? No, it's just on fire. <laughs> the fire looks uh, looks good. Not bad. So it is weird that some of some things in this engine, even though this engine has so many outdated things, like uh, visually, still look better than in Starfield. <laughs> Not to give any shade to Starfield uh, anymore than it already has been given to. I think I'll never get tired of seeing, of watching, like, these clouds and these skies and, and, and the universe, like. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, 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 what I was talking about just a moment ago, like, the shadow casting of the clouds onto the surface of the planet. Which is another super impressive feature. I want to like uh, like dig deeper into what's been presented in this Citizen Con. Because if they did something like this, it, it, it looks like some like a, a turning point for the development. Because if they like presented the engine in this matter probably probably they are done with the engine so this is the like the official final version of of the star citizen engine and maybe if they like uh, completed the work on the engine they can focus on developing the game proper like from now on hopefully that's the case <laughs> There's one dude. Still going. Three more minutes. Bear with me. And my stupid fixation with this game. <laughs> Just bear with it. If you want. Okay, you got puddles. Water simulation on decals. They need to pay attention to puddles and not like having to deal with a puddle gate like a Spider Man. Seeing hierarchical, hierarchical object containing technology for outpost and point of interest. Yeah. So basically, that, that's the like um, the object streaming technology that they use that allows like every object to be. Uh, persistent in the universe. At, if I drop a, a can of, of like of soda on on the surface of a planet, that can of soda will stay there and uh, will be. Look at that! The physics is good. That was not bad at all. 
It's so epic. So, um, as I was saying, like the, 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 the can of soda, uh, everybody can find the can of soda. Every other player, like even players that are on uh, a different solar system, in that universe, the can of soda stays there. Oh, also. They got, they also got, got destructible environments. What the hell, this game is, this game is everything. This is crazy. Okay. Cloth simulation. You can sweat. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, just picture this thing. Realize what what we're watching. In the same dem demo, you're seeing like a uh, warp drive uh, travels between stars and sweat drops on a character's face. In the same freaking demo without loading screen. I mean, uh, what is there left to say about this thing? What the hell? I, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Yeah, stay here. Let's close this video with a nice view. Yep, this is gonna this is gonna do it. So, guys, what what the hell is this game or this demo at least? <sighs> I'm in awe, and I'm kind of sad at the same time. You know, I'm really happy they're they're like they have gone this far with the development of the engine uh, uh, but yeah maybe the the most uh, realistic thing for this engine to shine is probably to be licensed to other developers because like star citizen is such a it's such a big game man it's such a big idea it's such such a um, like a bold project to pursue that i don't know if they could ever manage to to ship it you know to to gamers i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe in a couple of years we'll see a beta instead of an alpha <laughs> that could be nice anyhow really 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 good stuff impressive stuff i'm in shock let's go for a nice future a bright future for star citizen Let's hope that we can play it together on this channel in, uh, I don't know, two to five years, something like that. Maybe not so late. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like my content, like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao, 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 ciao.